Well, 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 two games for the end of the season and somehow we've got ourselves in a situation where by the end of this episode we could have won the Bundesliga, we could qualify for the Champions League, at the very least we're definitely going to be in the Europa League. It's been a good season no matter what happens, but if there's a series of ridiculous results over the next 15 or 20 minutes, we could be champions. I don't think we're going to be champions. Hello and welcome to Club 5, part 16 of Non-League to Legend. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we have our final two games of the season at home against top of the table Borussia Mönchengladbach and then away against joint top of the table Bayern Munich. Dortmund have collapsed. Dortmund are out of this. If we can beat both of the teams who are joint top at the moment, we have a chance. But obviously we would still be relying on favours from other teams as well. If we have a look at the actual permutations, I'm kind of disregarding Dortmund because they're in free fall. But I suppose we need to keep an eye on Dortmund as well. We play Borussia Mönchengladbach. Bayern Munich are away against Freiburg. Freiburg are down in 10th place. There's every possibility that in the first match we might beat Borussia Mönchengladbach. But Bayern Munich are probably going to beat Freiburg and win the league. Unbelievably, for the second year in a row, having sacked the manager midway through the season, Bayern Munich could come from nowhere and win the Bundesliga. Um, who are... Where are Dortmund? Don't look like they have a game. Dortmund play Nuremberg tomorrow. Where are Nuremberg? They are ninth, but they're in free fall. We're ignoring them. We're pretending they don't exist. Leipzig, Stuttgart, probably too far behind to be in the title mix. Then we go into the last day of the season. We're away against Bayern Munich and obviously would have to win to have a chance of winning the league. Borussia Mönchengladbach at home against Hertha Berlin, who were one of the top six last year, but are down in lower mid-table this time round. Dortmund away against Grutha Thurf, who are already well, pretty much relegated. I mean, Dortmund, perhaps we shouldn't rule Dortmund out completely. Um, and then Leipzig, who, again, are probably already out of it, got Werder Bremen, who are already relegated. But it's very unlikely we're going to win the league. But we might just end up in the Champions League if we, if we can win one of the games, then we're going to be in the Champions League because Leipzig and Stuttgart can't catch us then, assuming top four is Champions League, which is a big assumption. Does it, if we go on rules, does it tell me who qualifies for the Champions League? Qualificate, no. Continental qualification, top four teams get into the Champions League group stage. So, one win across these two games is enough for the Champions League. That, we've already got a massive overachievement by being in the Europa League. Champions League qualification would be an even bigger overachievement and full vindication and justification for leaving Hamburg, for leaving Fulham to come to Hamburg in the first place. Let's just see where Fulham are. Fulham 12th in the Premier League now. So if we can qualify for the Champions League in our first full season, and I know a few of you don't like me saying first full season. Remember, I know we only missed one game last season, but we also missed out the entire summer. So I spent last season with somebody else's squad. So I'm standing by this being our first full season at Hamburg. Champions League qualification would be epic, but oh my word, just imagine. Imagine if all of the all of the cards fall our way over the next 15 minutes and we end up winning the league. I don't know what I'd do. I'd be spending the rest of my life fielding comments from people telling me I'd reloaded 18 times to make it happen. I'd probably need to reload more than 18 times to force it to happen. Let's just get into the game. Um, so we're playing... Who are we playing? Borussia Mönchengladbach. And this is the side we're putting out there. Yeah, that's right. We're so injury and suspension ravaged that we're going into the biggest, the biggest game of the series so far. And we're playing a central midfielder at centre-back. Murray's going to have to play centre-back because we don't have anyone else. We looked at Berg in the last episode and he's not good enough. Um, and with uh, Gomez suspended, I think. Where is he? Oh, Berg, <laughs> Berg's injured anyway. I disregarded him regardless. Um, but yeah, Gomez is suspended, so he'll be back for the next game. But Murray's going to have to play centre-back. He is an accomplished centre-back. He is five foot six, So it's not ideal, but we have done it a few times recently. If we have a look... At his recent matches, um, okay, we've done it once recently against Wolfsburg, and we won that game three 0 And Mori scored, so you know he had a good game at centre back that day. So we're going with Mayer in goal, a back four of Friedel, Mori, Emmanuel, and Buckwright. Friedel could play centre back, but we don't have another left back to come in either. 
The squad is so paper thin. We need this Champions League qualification. We've got Rodriguez and Yanya Chich in midfield. Okafor, Vital and Chaton Azam attacking midfield three. And Liam Thorne up front, who is third top scorer in the Bundesliga. He's too far behind to finish as top scorer. But he's, he's also another one who's had a cracking first season in Germany. First full season in Germany, sorry. Still, unbelievably, not ever been called up into an England squad, which I think is a situation that has to be remedied, surely, over the summer. If he's going to be a Champions League striker next season which is still a big if, but if he's going to be a Champions League striker next summer, then he needs to be getting into the England squad, at least, for the, at least for the England manager to have a look at him. Right, team talk. We want passion. We've been on a good run lately. Nobody cares. Oh, right. I'm going to try not to get too over-exuberant and stressed in this one because, you know, I am a man who has high blood pressure. I don't want to get too overexcited. And plus, it's so unlikely that we're going to win the league that I'm not going to get too too worried if we go behind. It would be no, the goal really is to win one of these games and get into the Champions League. That would be the absolute dream. But Europa League is still a fantastic overperformance, so I'm going to keep that in my back pocket and keep saying, look, I know people call it a bottle job if that's all we end up doing, but that's still way more than anyone expected at the start of the season. Way more than the media, the board, any of you, me. None of us expected a Europa League qualification this year. And the fact that we're two days away from two games away from the end of the season, still with the possibility of winning the league. My word. See, the, the nervous cough is back. I haven't coughed for ages, but the cough is back. Just just one little cough that we've probably edited out, so I didn't have to talk about it. Oh, that's a it's a blast from the past. Nostalgia, Kev talking about a cough that no one else heard, but he feels the need to bring up anyway. And it's been a very cagey opening seven minutes of this game. In fact, the game is giving us a lot of highlights in these first seven minutes. A lot of fairly nothing highlights. I think the match engine is is trying to just put the pressure on a little bit. What a miss. It's trying to stress me out by showing us all this stuff up front when I just want it to be over. I just want four-minute matches. That's the that's the dream now. Get it done so I don't have to be... At my. What's my heart rate doing at the moment? We're on 100 beats a minute, so I'm trying not to get stressed. I am stressed. I need a different job. A man with my my blood pressure conditioning... Conditioning? In, um, I shouldn't be doing a job that stresses him out this regularly. I need to have a word with myself. I'm playing a video game in my garage and getting stressed out about it. But I really care. This story... It go, it's been going on for so long. Non-League to Legend each year is like six to nine months of my year. Every year. And Liam Thorne has put us 1-0 up on the half-hour mark. It's his 17th goal of the season. Friedel with the cross. Thorne nods it in. Absolutely easy peasy. I want to have a look to see what that does to the league table. Because we all know my maths has had, has had its issues in the past. I think that puts us second, depending on what Dortmund are doing. Um, it puts us third. Um... But again, depending on what Dortmund and Bayern Munich are doing. But what does it do behind us? That's the important thing. If things stay as they are, are we? Oh my goodness me, Okafor's just scored as well. 14th goal of the season for Okafor. Signing of the series so far, Noah Okafor for £7 million. Let me know down in the comments, if we've still got comments. Let me know down in the comments if there's been a better signing in non-Leeds legend this year than Noah Okafor for £7 million quid, Because to come in and score 14 goals has been ridiculous. And as it stands right now, Dortmund obviously aren't playing, so that's why we don't need to worry about them too much at the moment. As it stands right now, we're four points clear of Leipzig with a game to go. So if everything finishes as it is right now, then we qualify for the Champions League and go into the final game of the season against Bayern Munich, knowing if we beat them, we go above them, and then we'd just be relying on Borussia Mönchengladbach to lose their game. Ugh, we just won a penalty. Did we win a penalty? Is it a penalty? What's happening here? Is he, is, is he sending that guy off too? No, so is a yellow card. Have we won a penalty? No. It's just, what is that all about? Mori now with a free kick. And just forces the save out of the Munch and Gladback keeper. Do you do you shorten it to just Munch and Gladback? Because you don't keep saying Borussia Dortmund all the time, but I don't know, it just rolls off the tongue nicely. Borussia Munch and Gladback. It's lovely stuff. Um right, Rodriguez. Over to Janicic. Let's have a third just before half time to calm me down a little bit. Bayern Munich have gone ahead in their game, obviously. If it all finishes as it is now, 
then Bayern Munich effectively win the league today and we go into the last match knowing we're both in the Champions League but knowing we can't catch them which I mean it will be sad but you know we'll be in the Champions League we're not going to be we're not going to be crying that much right team talk assertively um, don't let performance levels drop just please lads hold on I want the I want the Champions League spendsies. I want to be able to buy a proper squad this summer. Imagine what we we've been this good this season with about fourteen players who are de- who are good enough to play for us, and some of them there's some serious question marks over whether or not they're Champions League quality players. But we've played way above our level all season. Bayern Munich have drawn level. Whoever they're playing has drawn level with them again in their game. It's it's back on, boys and girls. But imagine if we were to get Champions League kind of money to spend. Oh, offside maybe? Mayer didn't know what was going on there, did he? At all. The shot comes in, it cannons down off the crossbar. And it's the guy who had, it's that guy who ends up scoring it. Mayer does not know what's going on. And now we're, it's, it's squeaky bum time, boys and girls. Half an hour to go. The Bayern Munich game's going our way, but Borussia Mönchengladbach are coming back into this. And Mori, all five foot six of him, gets his head onto that from the corner and saves us. But we're, I'm worried. I don't know what shout to do. Concentrate? Is it too late? Oh, Thorne's done brilliantly to win that header. <gasps> Liam Thorne! What a goal from Thorne! That one is straight out of the championship as well. Big ball forward from the goalkeeper. Thorne flicks it on to himself. And finishes beautifully. Look at this. This is what happens when you have a six foot five striker who can finish as well. I mean, it's not. It's not even that he thumped it. He's deftly sort of chipped it over the goalkeeper. A chip slash lob type thing. The sort of goal that when you're playing FIFA, your mates do to you just to annoy you or mine do because I'm not very good at FIFA. That's why I don't play FIFA. But that's what they used to do to me. Goals like that where I'm trying to whack it. Liam Thorne doesn't need to whack it. He's better at FIFA than me. Right. We've got Matthews. To come. So Rocky and Matthews coming on for Vital and Chaton. And we just try. I'm going to bring Shane Duffy on. If we if we score a fourth, Shane Duffy's coming on. I want him on the pitch for this. Bayern Munich have gone ahead again in their game. Mori! Every time he plays centre-back, he scores. It's Hamburg 4, Borussia Mönchengladbach 1. This is the team that were top of the league going into this match. And we're absolutely battering them. We need, whoever Bayern Munich are playing, we need them to help us out here. Mori again. I am going to bring Shane Duffy on in a minute. He can have the last 10 minutes. He's, it was probably his final appearance before retirement because I doubt he'll play. In the, I might start him in the next game if it means nothing. But Shane Duffy's going to come on. He believed in me when no one else did. And I mean nobody. Nobody believed that things would go our way at, at Hamburg. Shane Duffy did. He came with me from Fulham. David Noble wouldn't come with me. Mike Phelan wouldn't come with me. Buckwright's been sent off. Nobody thought it was the right thing to do, but Shane Duffy is a visionary and saw that it was the right thing. So I'm still going to bring Duffy on, but now I'm going to bring him on for... Who do I bring him on for? I'm just going to make the same change I was doing before, but this time Murray's going to drop back there. And we're going to do this. Shane Duffy still gets to... Uh, he's, he deserves it. He deserves to be on the pitch. And if Bayern Munich are winning their game anyway, it doesn't really matter what goes on in this one. St- Leipzig look like they're losing. So even a draw might have been enough for us. But we're not going to obviously fall all the way back down to a draw. Friedel just skims the paint on the top of the crossbar. Um, we need Freiburg to score now. If we've got any hope of winning the league... Freiburg have to score in the next couple of minutes. Otherwise, the ridiculously far-fetched backdoor Kev dream is over. But as it stands, I mean, forget as it stands, we've qualified for the Champions League and now we get to go to Bayern Munich and think about what might have been. We'll go there and beat them and go and regret those nil-nils that we had yesterday. Because if we'd have scored just one goal across those two matches yesterday, we'd be champions. That stings a little bit. Oh, <laughs> Right, come on, Freiburg. This is where we need picture in picture. I talked about it in the Q&A 
at the weekend. If you haven't watched the Q&A yet, you should. But picture in picture, this is what I need. I don't care about our match now. I want to watch Freiburg Bayern Munich. I want to see Freiburg score right at the death because it will, it will make me very, very happy. It would make you very happy because we could then go to Bayern knowing we just have to beat them to win the league because Borussia Mönchengladbach, they're losing their next game now. We've thumped them. Their heads are gone. We're basically handing the league to Bayern Munich here. Did Freiburg score right at the end? That's all we... I don't care about any of this. Just well done and all that. But have... Did Freiburg get a late equaliser? They didn't. So going into the final day, we cannot win the league anymore, but we have qualified for the Champions League, which is ridiculous. And of course, we could still finish second. We could leapfrog over Borussia Mönchengladbach and finish one point behind Bayern Munich in second place, which would be insane. Do we get budgets for next season now we've qualified? Why is it not saying we've qualified for the Champions League? Have I missed something? I'm a little bit worried now that my maths is off again. Um, show me again. Check your maths, Kev. Check your maths. Oh, my word, we haven't, have we? We all but have. But because Stuttgart went above Leipzig, if Stuttgart win, we lose, and there's a six-goal turnaround, and Dortmund win, we still might not be in the Champions League. Oh, and I've said it so many times. You can guarantee it's going to happen now, isn't it? <clears throat> Let's go and play Bayern Munich and try not to lose. Oh, I feel sick. This is going to be horrible. Um, one change. Because Buckwright now suspended after getting sent off at the end of the last game. Gomez returns from suspension. It does mean that at least we're guaranteed a goal from Murray because he's playing at centre-back again. Emmanuel going out to play at right-back. Other than that, we are unchanged from the team that so gloriously dispatched Borussia Mönchengladbach. But I just have a horrible feeling in the pit of my stomach that after all that talk about Champions League qualification... We're going to ruin it now, aren't we? We're going to lose like 4-0. Stuttgart are going to win their game 2-0. Or it's going to turn out it's nothing to do with goal difference in the Bundesliga. It's head-to-head -head performance and we've probably lost to Stuttgart five times this season or something. Oh, it's horrible. Right. We have a chance to qualify for the UEFA Champions League, so go out there and impress me. I don't want to put that kind of pressure on. Um, yeah, good luck. Go out and cause an upset. I think that's... You're all telling me that was wrong now. I can hear you doing it. But we just need to... <clears throat> Dortmund won their game in hand, by the way. So it is still on for Dortmund. Dortmund and Borussia Mönchengladbach, three points behind Bayern Munich, level on goal difference, one goal behind Bayern Munich as well. It is so close at the top because we're only one point behind those two. It just seems to be the way the Bundesliga works in this universe. It was super tight last season. It's super tight again this season. And... Uh, yeah, we just need to hope that it all it ends up going in our favour. Borussia Mönchengladbach beating her to Berlin. So that puts them one point behind Bayern Munich. So if we were to go ahead, I think that hands the top of the table to Borussia Mönchengladbach for a little while. And I'm going to continue saying the full version of their name because I like it. Okafor into Thorne. Liam Thorne scores. We're 1-0 up. A sniff of offside maybe? Are we going over to the little telly? I don't think we are. No, it's just been given. Awesome. Thorne is having an episode. Goodness me. It's a lovely cross from Okafor. Cuts in onto his right foot. Curls the in-swinging cross onto Thorne's head. Thorne scores. 26 minutes on the clock. Bayern Munich nil. Hamburg won. And as it stands, the team we beat 4-1 earlier in this episode are going to win the league. Thanks to us. I am so... Can I go back and reload yesterday's episode and just win one of those games? Because it's... This is, although very satisfying based on where we were supposed to be at the start of the season, it is a little bit sickening thinking about what might have been. Thorns just scored again. That one's gone down as an own goal. I don't care. I do not care how or why. We're 2-0 up away from home at Bayern Munich. And I tell you what, if... I, I, it's dangerous doing the speech again but if we are about to qualify for the Champions League and the current squad is capable of doing what it's done in this episode just imagine if we can have a good summer with a big bunch of cash just imagine what could happen next year 
Stuttgart are still drawing their game. Leipzig are winning and have jumped over the top of them. Is there a way to get rid of this and extend latest scores out? Because that's... Can we adjust that? I don't think we can. I want to see latest scores bigger. I don't want it on the match, on the actual pitch screen, though. I just want it on the in-betweeny bits. Right. Team talk. Assertive. Don't get complacent. Because we're 45 minutes away from the Champions League. And that is just ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. If any of you claim you predicted that at the start of the season, you're liars. Because you just didn't. Um... Right, I didn't predict this at the start of the season. Stuttgart still drawing. Leipzig still winning. Um, Borussia Mönchengladbach still winning against Hertha Berlin. If Hertha Berlin come back into this game, that then hands the league back to Bayern Munich and they'd win the league. We'd finish second. That, I mean, that would be the perfect thing. We want Hertha Berlin to come back in now. We want to finish second because presumably there's a bit more prize money if we do that. Um, we're going to make our usual substitution, Rocky and Matthews, on for... Vital and Chateau, mainly because Rocky and Matthews as backup players are probably the only two that are any good. Canoni as well, maybe, but he started well, but has really gone off the boil as this season has gone on. Um, we don't really have a midfielder who can come on for either of those two. I don't think we need to make a final change. We're just going to leave things well alone. Stuttgart have now gone ahead in their game. I just saw a goal flash come up. Is this Maury's goal? Um, corner comes over have we just won a penalty we're going over to the little telly probably for the final time this season I want to put Mori on this penalty to keep his goal scoring set we haven't had a goal a game defender for a long time Mori could be a goal a game centre back who we play in midfield can we stick him on the penalty are we getting the penalty a penalty is given change player right we want Mori to take the penalty we shouldn't be messing around like this when there's a Champions League place at stake. I fully acknowledge that. But I want a goal a game centre-back. There's Mori with his goal. Bayern Munich nil. Hamburg three. Oh, just imagine if we'd have done this in the last episode. We would be champions now. Our matches could not have gone any better today. We just, we've been let down by whoever played. Was it Freiburg played Bayern Munich in the last match? They let us down. Freiburg are now our new nemesis. Nobody... I mean, the, imagine the atmosphere in this stadium right now. Because Bayern Munich... Oh, they haven't won the league. I was thinking they'd won the league. Of course they haven't, have they? So the atmosphere, we're going to be happy. They're going to be sad. That works for me. I thought we were all going to be celebrating. But of course, we've handed the league to Borussia Mönchengladbach. Which... I mean, I mean, is that more of an upset than us qualifying for the Champions League? I don't know if they're any good. I don't, I don't ever hear of them as Bundesliga champions. Passionately, that was brilliant. Now we get to find out what our budget is for tomorrow's transfer special. Before we do that, when was the last time they won the league? Have they ever won the league before? They haven't won the league since 1977. I mean, basically, they were good in the 70s by the look of that. We've just handed them the league after thumping them. So they've won the Bundesliga. We want budgets, so We've been given £87 million. I can see the budgets are there. Um, I'm teasing it. We'll, we'll see how long it takes to get there. Obviously, we have qualified for the Champions League straight into the group stages as well, which is awesome. I've been labelled the mastermind. I think it might be time for me to print out the told you so shirts for all of the people who said that leaving Fulham and going to Hamburg was a step down because we still wouldn't be in the Champions League if I'd stayed at Fulham. But we're in the Champions League with Hamburg. Kev told you so. Might have to get those shirts linked up in the little Teespring thing that displays below the videos. So anyone, anyone who wants to buy a piece of merch designed to rub everybody's noses in it, no one's going to buy those shirts. I might just get one for myself. I told you so. Should we see what the budget is? I'm so happy. I feel so vindicated. I feel just sick. That's ridiculous. Time to resign. Oh, my word. We've qualified for the Champions League. We've been given no extra wage budget and next to no transfer budget. So we've got to go into the Champions League with this squad. And half of these are on loan and will be going back. That's, I mean, that, that is problematic. This is going to be a very, very interesting summer, which I suggest, I suggest there's going to be some job hunting being done on tomorrow's transfer special slash season review. 
I don't know if there's any jobs immediately available that would tempt me. Nothing at the moment. Tomorrow's going to be interesting. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.